If you're a user of Android Auto, continue watching this video because I'm gonna go ahead and share with you some hidden features and some tips and tricks that not a lot of people know about. So of course, timestamps and everything will be in the video description down below for your pleasure. Let's get started with the quick overview of the layout. You see, if you tap on your map app, it will automatically make it full screen. But it doesn't just end there because if you're listening to music as an example, yeah, you could do like a swipe to go between other things. You can also tap on it right here to make it full screen. You can also tap on the app again and make a minimum or full full screen. And over here will be like your Google Maps suggestions. If you're using Waze, it'll be like Waze suggestions as well. And then on the very bottom over here, this corner, will allow you to recently see your recently missed notifications. And then you have the message to play the audio out loud, reply or or hit the silent bell icon to mute it. But what I want to show you is customizing this. You see, you can actually decide to move the map to the opposite side in case you have a vehicle that's smaller on the inside and the steering wheel is in the way. If you need to readjust this, go into settings and then go down into the display right in here and look for change layout. Tap to change layout and you can decide if you want the media to be closer to the driver's side just like that when i'm visually driving the map is actually within my more visible in my peripheral than it is when it was over here so definitely do experiment now a little thing a hidden feature i guess is the wallpaper there's no full wallpaper customization because you really don't have a dedicated menu but google i have to respect the fact they actually tried you see if you go into settings right in here and we go back to this main page if you scroll down you can use your phone's wallpaper to be the backdrop of your app layout so it doesn't look like i have anything right now because the actual wallpaper of my phone is currently this the default one from samsung but you will find that your wallpaper is in the background once you have that enabled now since we're in this section i want to go ahead and cover something these apps you can actually rearrange these apps to your own personal preference if you like your shortcut apps or your most used apps to be on top it's as easy as simply just going into the customize app right here and it'll immediately launch it on your smartphone and from here you can decide if you want to remove some of these apps like if you don't want the news to be a part of it or you could click on the side over here you can rearrange your apps just like so and it will update in real time but this isn't all that it could do you see this app over here is an app that i created and whenever i tapped it it will automatically enable the command for my virtual voice assistant to look for the nearest chevron gas station you can use your own personal preference of gas stations but that's what i programmed this one to do so when i click on it on long road trips I don't have to verbally chevron. tell it to look for a chevron gas station it immediately does that like so i love using that feature especially for long road trips and you can also program it to look for like a certain coffee shop starbucks pete's dutch bro just to name a few so in order to customize this and create some custom shortcuts uh just tap customize it'll take you back to this custom launcher page and just click on add shortcut to launcher here you can select a contact but here where it says add assistant action enter the command you want to ask it so just type in the verbal command you like to so i'm going to do nearest coffee shop and then you could label it with an icon or a text i'm just going to do a smiley face tap done you could test the command but in our case i'm pretty certain it got it right you could click and drag it to rearrange it and now all i need to do is just tap on it Sure. It'll run the Dutch command, look for me, nearest location. Now when starting a navigation, you know the voice prompt when it's talking? Chevron. Rockland. Let's go. Notice how it says prompt voice, or prompt audio, and then audio volume. When the narrator... As I was saying, when the narrator is speaking, as long as you catch it, you can adjust the audio as it's talking to you, which will separate this audio volume control from your media source. This way you can still adjust the audio for your music, your phone calls, and the navigation voice prompt if you have that enabled. You just have to catch it as they're talking, adjust it on your steering wheel or the volume knob. And then, if you guys been finding this video informative and useful so far, if you could kindly take two seconds and hit that like button and like. Truly appreciate those, as those allow the channel to be powered by you guys, the viewers, which is why you don't see brands taking like a minute or two off your time for like a sponsorship segment. I personally don't like doing that in my videos, and uh, thanks to you guys, we don't need to rely on brands. So, I really appreciate you guys for just taking the time and just simply hitting that like button and like. Really does mean a lot. Let's carry on.
Now I almost forgot one additional feature I just cannot live without. It can be located in settings and just scroll down until you look for taskbar widget. Enable this and this allows you to actually pause and play your media. As you can see, I clearly pause and play and then it continues. Even if I switch like to a different app, I'll still have this like little menu down here. But if I had maps running and I was in the music app, it will tell me when to make my next turn. So definitely recommend enabling taskbar widget and show quick controls for apps right here. Now activating the Google virtual voice system is as simple as simply tapping right here on your screen. Of course, you could also say the Hey G, you know, you could just say that and it will virtually pop up. But on your steering wheel, from some vehicles, a single tap will also activate your Google Virtual Voice Assistant. On BMWs, I believe, is a long hold. But you can literally activate it by pressing on the speaking icon on your steering wheel that way as well. Now, I don't know about you, but sometimes when I get in my car, I don't like my music to automatically start playing. For me, I personally prefer just tapping play when I get in my car to start the music in case I'm having a conversation or I have a lot of people in my car. If you like to disable that auto play music ability, go back in your settings. And then just scroll down to the startup mode. And then here's where you could disable the default start music automatically. Additionally, another cool thing you could do here is let's say for example, you share a car with your spouse or something like that. In the startup Android automatic setting, I like to enable if used on last drive. This way, if you and your partner got in the car, it'll automatically connect to the last person it was connected to. So you don't have to play that, ah, why is my phone connecting than your phone? You can always adjust that setting right here, or you can set a default by vehicle, or leave it at always if you are, you are the primary owner of your car, you like your phone to always automatically connect versus the other person. So personal preference, but a good powerful tool right here. Now let's talk about message notifications. You see, this notification comes in, but if you like that hide the body from popping up or mute your notifications entirely, from popping up over here as an example, continue to stay on, go into your settings, and then where it says show first line up the message, disable that. Now if we go back, it's gonna censor the body of the message, including when you receive that message. But if you wish to remove notifications from popping up in the first place, go back in your settings and disabled message notifications. And now you see it's gone. And if we get a text message while we're driving, it's not gonna pop up. But let's say, for example, you do like your messages being enabled. You could disable the shime if that's something you don't like. But I do recommend leaving play message summaries enabled because in case somebody sends you like a long paragraph, it'll utilize AI and summarize that long body message into a short sentence so you can visually see what the notification is if you have the show first line message enabled. And then another cool thing about Google, in case you're waiting for somebody in the parking lot while they're going out and grabbing groceries, you do have some funny little games right here you can always play. And then the beauty about Android Auto is the fact you can actually change the steering wheel location of your car. In case your vehicle has an aftermarket head unit or you're overseas and visiting a friend and you you're trying to figure out how to change the driver's seat from the right to the left side, go into settings. I love Android Auto for this freedom to manually override this, but dry, but in the setting, look for a seat location. And here's where you can sw switch between right or left in case the bin number isn't working. And then the last setting I recommend knowing is uh, doing a quick Google search and figuring out how to reset your head unit in case your vehicle's bug. You see, most people will assume the only way to reset your unit, your head unit, if it's not acting right, it's frozen or whatsoever, is to turn off the vehicle and turn it back on. You don't have to do that. For Ford, simply hold down the volume and the right arrow. At the same time, if you keep long holding for about five seconds, it will automatically just reboot the head unit, resolving any bugs or issues you may be facing. And for BMWs, uh, long hold the volume button for 30 seconds, it will automatically reset the head unit. So you can still continue driving, no need to stop. Everything should automatically resume. So if you don't know how to reset your head unit, just do a quick Google search of your vehicle mark and model and I'm sure you'll be able to find something online. But there we have it. That is everything you need to know about Android Auto to really get the best experience out of this amazing head unit and take advantage of those amazing shortcuts that 
not a lot of people know about. If you enjoyed, if you wanted to watch more, maybe you want to see something interesting in terms of something new that came out in tech industry recently. Well, check out this video over there as that is my coverage of the latest generation Ray-Ban smart glasses with that built-in display. Those things are pretty amazing, but there's some limitations that I go over in this video over there that not a lot of people are telling you. I'm sure you'll enjoy. Thank you so much for watching.